Hello everyone, my name is Chen Ning Zhou. The title of our talk is Improving the MLP-based Security Evaluation Algorithm Against Differential or Linear Corrupt Analysis Using a Divide and Conquer Approach. This is a joint work with Wen Tao Zhang, Tian Yu Ding, and Ze Jinxiang. This is an outline of our talk. Firstly, we will review the existing MLP tool for evaluating the security of a cipher against differential and linear corrupt analysis. Then we show our improved search algorithm, incorporating a divide and conquer approach. And finally, we show some applications. Differential and linear corrupt analysis are two of the most effective and powerful attacks to analyze symmetric key primitives. Being able to resist the two attacks is an important criterion for defining symmetric key primitives. To evaluate the security of a cipher against differential or linear corrupt analysis, there are usually two approaches. One is to calculate the minimum number of active S boxes, and the other is to search for the best differential or linear characteristic. In recent years, a method based on MILP is proposed for the security evaluation. Due to its easy to master and general to use features, the MILP based method has been widely used. This kind of method is firstly proposed by Moha in 2011. They introduced a model framework to calculate lower bounds of the minimum number of active S boxes for order oriented ciphers. The model consists of an objective function and inner constraints. The objective function is to minimize the sum of variables A representing input words of S boxes of each round. The constraints are used to describe what level difference or linear mask propagation through a cipher. Then from 2013 to 2014, Sun extended Moha's model framework to bit-oriented ciphers. Their models described bitwise operations that can be used to both obtain the minimum number of active S boxes and find the best differential and linear characteristic. In 2018, just speed up the resolution time of solving MILP models by incorporating Matisse branch and bounce search algorithm. However, the efficiency of existing MILP based methods is not enough. The model can't be solved with a reasonable time when the number of rounds is too large. Next, we introduce our search algorithm. Our motivation is to make the MILP-based method more efficient so that we can use it to derive better evaluation of corrupt analytic results of symmetric primitives against differential and linear corrupt analysis. In this talk, by using a divide and conquer approach, we propose an improved MILP-based search algorithm for evaluating the security of symmetric primitives against differential and linear graph analysis. The algorithm is applied to five lightweight block ciphers in this talk and also applicable to other symmetric primitives. This table summarizes the comparison of the results on best differential and linear characteristics between two previous work and ours. We implement the three methods on a PC and T1, T2, T3 respectively denote the resolution time of the three methods. From the table, we see that our search algorithm has an advantage over the two other methods when the number of of rounds is large, and for each cipher, we cover more rounds with less time. The two approaches, calculating the minimum number of active S boxes and searching for best differential or linear characteristics, are respectively equivalent to search for the characteristic with the minimum number of active S boxes and with the minimum weight. Our search algorithm is inspired by the idea of a divide-and-conquer approach. 
Our research process is as follows. Firstly, we divide the whole search space, namely the set of all possible iron characteristics, into smaller subsets. Then, we separately search each of the subsets by using MILP and obtain the optimal characteristics within them. Finally, the optimal characteristic within the whole site is given by combining all the results returned from the subsite. Next, we'll introduce the first step, how to divide the site. We divide the site for SPN ciphers based on observation 1. For many lightweight block ciphers with SPN structure, while its differential or linear characteristics have at least one active S box in each child, and those with the highest probability or absolute linear bias are likely to have at most two active S boxes at a certain level. Thus, for an Aron SPN cipher, we first divide the whole site into three kinds of subsets. In subset one, the characteristics have at least one active S box in each round, and there is at least one round contains exactly one active S box. Subset 2 is similar to subset 1. The characteristics in it have at least two active S boxes in each round, and there is at least one round contains exactly two active S boxes. Subset 3 includes the characteristics that have at least three active S boxes in each round. The, for subset 1 and subset 2, the characteristics have one or two active S boxes at a certain round. Thus, we further divide the two subsets by fixing the index i such that round i has exactly one or two active S boxes. By doing this, the number of all possibilities of inputs of front i decreases. Then we travel the input of front i to further divide the two subsets. Take an SPN cipher present as an example. Its block size is 64 bits and it uses a 4 times 4 S box. We show how to divide the site for an Aron present. Firstly, the whole site is divided into three subsets introduced in the previous page. Then, subset 1 is divided by choosing I such that round I has exactly one active S box, and for each I, choosing inputs of round I. When one round has exactly one active S box, there are 240 possibilities of input of this round. In total, subset 1 is divided into R times 240 smaller subsets. Similar to the partition of subset 1, subset 2 is further divided. When one round has exactly two active S boxes, there are 27,000 possibilities of inputs of this round. In total, subset 2 is divided into R times 27,000 smaller subsets. Now, the site for an R round present has been divided. Unlike SPN ciphers, for FASTL ciphers, the differential or linear characteristics with the highest probability or absolute linear bias are likely to have no active S box at a certain round. Thus, for an R round FASTL cipher, we divide the whole site into two kinds of subsets. In subset 0, the characteristics have no active S box at a certain round, and in subset 1, the characteristics have at least one active S box in each round. For subset 0, we further divide it by fixing the index i such that round i contains no active S box. The subsets divided now are not small enough, thus, we further divide the size by choosing patterns of S boxes of at round i plus 1. Take a FASTL cipher L block as an example. Its block size is 64 bits 
and it uses a 4 times 4 S box. For an iron envelope, we first divide the size into the two subsides introduced before. Then subside 0 is further divided by choosing index i, such that round i has no active S box. If round i has no active S box, there is at least one active S box at round i plus 1. By choosing patterns of S boxes at round i plus 1, there are 255 subsides for each i. In summary, the size for an R round L block is divided into R times 255 plus 1 smaller subsides. Now we have shown that how to divide the size for SPN and face tail ciphers. Next, we will introduce how to search each of the subsets by using a MyLP. To search a subset divided, we first build an MyLP model by using existing work. The model is used to search for the optimal characteristic for an r cipher and its Facebook region is the site of all possible r characteristic. By adding additional constraints into the model, the Facebook region of the model is exactly the subset. Therefore, searching a subset is equivalent to solving an MLP model whose Facebook region is exactly the subset. To build such models, we introduce the additional constraints for describing the subset. For the subsets divided for an r SPN cipher, characteristics in them are constrained by the following two constraints. In constraint 1, there are at least NA active S boxes in each round except for a certain round I. This constraint is described by the equation 1. The second constraint is that the input of round I equals a value of delta. This constraint is de described by the equation 2. For the subsets divided for an r round face cipher, characteristics in them are constrained by the two constraints. Constraint 1 is the same as the constraint 1 for SPN cipher. Constraint 2 shows that the difference or linear mask patterns of the S boxes at round i and i plus 1 are equal to zeros and a vector, a vector p respectively. This constraint is described by the equation 3. Now we can search a subset by solving an MILP model. The models built for searching subsets have smaller physical regions. Thus, are easier to be solved than the model with a whole set. However, it will cost a huge amount of time if we solve all the models. There are two main reasons. One is that the number of subsets divided is generally large, referring the subsets divided for an r present. The other reason is that solving some of the models built for searching the subsets are time-consuming. For example, the model whose Facebook region is subset 3 for SPN ciphers. Thus, several technicals are needed to further improve the efficiency. Revealing that our goal is to search for the r characteristic with the minimum number of active S boxes or with the minimum weight. We introduce three technicals in the second step of the search process. The first technical is similar to the strategy used in Matei's branch and bound search algorithm. At the beginning of the search, we generate a valid around characteristic and use it as the currently optimal around characteristic. Its number of active S boxes or weight is sold at an upper bound of the minimum number of active S boxes or weight for the R cipher. We generate such an R characteristic by exploding one of the optimal R minus one round characteristics we have found. For an R cipher, by fixing the first or the last R minus one rounds, to have the patterns of S boxes 
same as those of the optimal R minus one round characteristic, we generate a valid R round characteristic. During the search of subsets, if we found an R round characteristic having a number of active exposites or weight smaller than the upper bound, the currently optimal R round characteristic is updated by it, and the upper bound is updated by its number of active exposites or weight. To reduce unnecessary searches, we only focus on the subsets in which the characteristics have smaller number of active exposites or weights than the upper bound. Thus, the second technical is to estimate a lower bound of the minimum number of active exposites or weight within the subset. If the lower bound is greater than or equal to the upper bound, there is no better characteristic, and we terminate the search of the subset. To calculate the lower bound, one method is to split R rounds into smaller parts, then combine them. A lower bound for R rounds is estimated by combining lower bounds or exact values for the smaller parts. In addition, the lower bound can be updated by solving MILP models. In order to make TechNew2 more efficient, we aim to find better characteristics as early as possible. The third technical is to choose a proper search order of the subset divided. There are two cases we can take into account. The first one is that we preferentially search the subsets which are more likely to provide better characteristics. The second is that preferentially searching the subsets whose corresponding MILP models can be solved with less time. We apply our search algorithm to three SPN ciphers and two FaceTail ciphers. For each of the five ciphers, we obtain the minimum number of differentially and linearly active exposites and best differential and linear characteristics. Our experiment is performed on a PC and we use the openly available software Groovy to sell MILP models. This is the result of present for the four kinds of experiments. We respectively reach for up to 31, 18, 31, and 18 rounds. Our results on the minimum number of differentially active exposites are the same as the results in this paper. However, these values are claimed to be lower bounds in this paper, where we found they are exact values. Compared to the results on best differential characteristics in this paper, we cover more rounds. GIFT is an SPN cipher similar to present. We focus on a version GIFT 64 with 64-bit block size. We obtain the four kinds of experiments for up to 16, 15, 15, and 13 rounds, respectively. We improve the probability for nine-round characteristics given by the designers and get better results compared to the results of the two papers by using MILP methods. Rectangle is an SPN cipher proposed in 2015. For rectangle, we obtain the four kinds of experiments for up to 16, 15, 16, and 14 rounds respectively. Our results on the best differential and linear characteristics are the same as those given by designers. L block and Tuan are two similar FaceTail ciphers. Both of them are word warranted ciphers. For L block, we obtain the four kinds of experiments for up to 20, 16, 20, and 15 rounds respectively. For Tuan, we obtain the four kinds of experiments for up to 20, 15, 20, and 16 rounds respectively. For both L block and Tuan, our results on the minimum number of active exposites are the same as those given by designers. 
We conclude our talk. In this talk, we focus on improving the efficiency of MILP-based security evaluation algorithm against differential and linear craft analysis and propose an improved search algorithm by using a divide and conquer approach. Applying our algorithm to five lightweight block ciphers, we obtain better results than previous work. For each cipher, we cover more rounds with less time compared to previous MILP-based methods. Thus, our algorithm is more efficient. The virtual work for the five lightweight block ciphers applied in this talk the permutation layers are all bit permutation. In future work, we will consider the ciphers with stronger permutation layers, such as Noken and Serpent. For the results of the file ciphers we obtained, although the weight of the best differential or linear characteristics for some reduced runs are larger than ciphers block size or half of it, we argue that it is possibly useful when the differential or linear clustering is it takes into account. For the security evaluation against related key differential corrupt analysis, it seems to be more difficult and requires more work. In the related key schedule, there are plenty of possibilities of round keys. Compared to a single key model, a related key model is more difficult to be solved because its size is larger. Thus, we didn't find a pro proper way to divide the whole size, such that both the number of subsets divided is not too large, and the model built for a subset is solved within a short time. These are references. That's all. Thanks for your attention.